my fellow sim gamers and in this video I'm going to talk about secrets in Stardew Valley that you may not even know. In fact, there's a lot of these secrets that I didn't even realize until a couple months ago. Number one, you can actually place masks on the alien rare crow. He's the only rare crow or scarecrow that you can actually put a mask on. Number two, you can use your sink to refill your water pail. Do you know how much time this would have saved me if I had known this earlier? I kept running to the pond in front of my house to refill it instead of using the sink. Number three, the crane game. The crane game at the movie theater is actually usable and has exclusive house decoration items like movie posters, statues, winter trees, and more. Even the trees in the back inside the game are grabbable. You may have not noticed this because the crane man has a chance to be playing on it before your movie starts and will always be playing on it after the movie is over. Vincent will hide behind a tree at the bottom of your farm during fall. You can see the top of his pink hair. Also, during the winter, around the same spot, you will see a door behind a tree. This door is most likely a reference to Narnia. Enter slash money into the chat box for Concerned Ape to say, nice try. Dressers are now usable thanks to the latest updates. Now there is no need to stash clothes and accessories in your chest, which take up space. There are several types of trains that come through Stardew Valley. The best train is the present train that comes through during the winter. Use your slingshot to hit this train to gain the presents. Ever thought about trying on the stairs for good measure? Me neither, but a Reddit user shared this glitch. When you place stairs into your pants slot, it instantly turns into trimmed gold purple shorts. Now you can make Lewis mad by wearing them around Pelican Town, or put them in the potluck, or show them off in your fair display. Ever go to the spa and wonder what exactly is in the one locker room you're not allowed into? Well, you can find out. Try to go into the locker room to get a message saying you are not allowed in there. Do this 8 to 10 times and a message will stop popping up, allowing you access to the once forbidden locker room. With this, you can find out who has the stinkiest locker. Now, I really thought this would have been patched up by now, but nope, it's still here. You can actually have your horse sell you ice cream all year round. You have to place your horse in the correct spot behind the counter of the ice cream stand and then you'll be able to buy the ice cream. The three secret statues. This is in here because I notice a lot of the videos out there do not tell you how they figured this out or if the other boxes have anything to do with this secret. So did you ever find that lost book that seemed to contain gibberish? Even becoming one with the forest or learning the Dwarven language doesn't translate it. I originally thought this was going to be like the Albad language in Final Fantasy X where one letter is a different letter when translated. For example, K equals W or something like that. It's not. You take the first letter of each word to form a message. Each set of lines is a separate message. So when you do this, the messages are Super Cucumber Town, Duck Mayo Saloon, and Strange Bun Toy Box. Okay, that made no sense. So what does this mean? As you may have guessed, you're going to need a super cucumber, duck mayonnaise, and strange bun. Now each message has a location mentioned. You need to take each item to the designated location. You know that you found the right spot if you find a box that you can interact with. The first statue is actually very hard to find. The only clue is that it's somewhere in town. And this, this box is actually in the wooded area behind the blacksmith's house. A tree is hiding a secret passage into the fenced-in area. Place a super cucumber into that box and you will get the first statue. The second statue is easy to find. Go into the saloon and head into the storage area that is past the arcade room. There is a little box there. Put the duck mayonnaise in the box and you will get the second statue. The third statue is a little harder to find but way easier than the first. A toy box will most likely be in a child's room and there's only two children in Pelican Town. So the box either has to be in Vincent's or Jazz's room. The toy box is in Vincent's room. Put the strange bun into the box to get the third statue. So what about the other boxes? There are other boxes throughout Pelican Town, but they do not do anything. If you take your cursor over the statue boxes, the cursor will change into a hand showing that the box is interactive. When you do this to the other boxes, the cursor will not change, meaning that the boxes are not interact. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like, comment if you know any other secrets, and subscribe for more Stardew Valley content, and I will see you next time.